Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Chase Vides back with another video. As y'all can see from the title, I'm going to be showing you how to make some simple Metro Boomin style melodies. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get right into it. To start, I'm going to go ahead and go to my go to drum kit, um, go down the vibe scales. I'll have the link for this kit in the description if anybody wants to get it. Uh, but I'm going to go down to minor. I'm going to go to C. Well, actually, let's do C sharp minor. Um, and I'm going to go into my Omnisphere bank that I dropped a little while back. I don't think I announced it, but um, it's a Boominati, Metro Boomin, 21 Savage, you know, inspired uh, Omnisphere bank for like all of my go-to sounds that I use for these style melodies. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and use this theory bell right here. And turn this down a little bit. I'm just going to come up with like a nice simple pattern. Now that we got that done i'm gonna go ahead and open up rc20 just to kind of create more of like a deep tune effect if you guys don't have this plugin you can use um ooh, what's this one plugin called it's some free detune plugin i'm not sure what it's called but if you just look up free detune vsts uh you'll go ahead and find it add some space bit of noise turn it down to like five i just want to read in the background real subtle over and i'm going to turn it turn this into a wave file just so it, you know it's not as hard on my cpu so i'm just going to go into here go to edison and what you could do uh this helps a lot whenever you want to get creative with your melodies and like reverse them uh just go here go to on play press the little record button make sure this is all the way back and then just press play And now that that looped, I'm going to go ahead and just double left click on this, select Control X to delete it, and then press this little button right here to send it to the playlist. Uh, now you can just like pitch it down, pitch it up, you can kind of reverse it, normalize it to make it louder. See what this sounds like. Sounds kind of cool, maybe pitch it down. keep it like that for right now and just add my other counter melodies so i'm going to go ahead and delete this send this right here what do I do? this one i'm going to go ahead and send this one to a new track just get this one out of the way now i'm going to go ahead and select a pad and just kind of create like um fill out the background some of the rougher frequencies out. It's gonna record this in Edison as well and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and reverse it. Alright now I'm just gonna go ahead and add a bass and go take this and go ahead and go to the Rose bass. I'm just gonna follow the uh, scale, just really do whatever. gonna add a nice little counter melody just kind of give it some um, more sauce I'm gonna 
change this sound but this is a nice little kind of melody just something for right now I'm gonna go ahead and go down to a guitar maybe separate this the stereo separation I'm just gonna keep it at like 25 I want to say just kind of put it back in the midst a little bit more instead of it being like with everything kind of want everything in different spots um keep it more spacious and I'm gonna go ahead and go to pancake uh, this is a free panning plugin I highly recommend it you can go download it off of like splice or whatever um, and it's gonna keep it on the uh, left to right shy preset which I usually do This is real simple, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it like this, and I'm just gonna go ahead and add some drums for y'all. Turn this join up like 35. Just gonna copy the bass pattern. I'm gonna go ahead and go to add drums. Place this down here. Damn, straight. So go back to the bass. Do control C, go back to my drones, and then do control V, paste it in there. against the 808 to kind of create some more bounce.
we go. All right, so yeah, this is pretty simple. I kept everything pretty simple. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna edit this hey, video, on, so if it's kind of all over you the place, I'm sorry about that. But that's pretty much it. You know, basically, whenever you're making Metro Boomin style melodies like dark like this, you really want to keep them simple. As you can see, that's pretty much what I did. Um, so yeah, I appreciate y'all for watching the video, man. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. The link for all of my kits are in the description below. Um, and yeah, I appreciate y'all for watching, man, and I'm out.